Welcome to the Q&A session with Lightspeed Spanish. Here we have another question that came from HF. We mentioned them earlier. HF asked a question about indirect pronouns. And he said something like this. In the sentence, um, le pido a mi hijo que haga el trabajo. Okay. So we've got this pedir. Le pido a mi hijo que haga el trabajo. So I'm asking my son to do the work. Okay. And his question was, because we said a mi hijo, do we really need to put le in that question or that sentence? So, le pido a mi hijo. So we've got this le, which is to him or to her, but in this case it's to him, and then a mi hijo. And the answer to the question is, no, you cannot leave out the le. Why? Because it's what's called the redundant use of the indirect pronoun. And what you'll find is that the indirect verbs, and we've got a Q&A earlier about indirect verbs, so you need to get up to speed with what that means in our terms. It's not a, properly, it's not a proper grammatical expression, but there are verbs that demand the use of the indirect pronoun. Okay, Those verbs need the pronoun in third person, whether you mention the name or not. And good news is that we've already produced um, a podcast and a help sheet on this so that you understand how that works. I put in the comments down below the link so that you can look and find out exactly what this is about. It's absolutely vital that you understand how indirect pronouns work because they're everywhere. Okay, so check out the link. Look, so when, you, when you're using uh, verbs that need the pronoun, they've got to be there. Find out why. Hasta luego. Adios.